Yes, Miss Livingston? Have you seen my emery boards? Oh, yes. I put them here in this drawer. Here's one. Thank you. You know, Miss Livingston, it's funny, isn't it? Years ago, you and I used to work side by side at the May Company. And now you're in television, working for a big star like Jack Benny. And I'm your maid. Yeah. Can you lend me five dollars for payday? <laughs> yeah, that's ten you owe me. <laughs> oh, by the way, Pauline, I'm going out so you can have the rest of the day off. Oh, good. Then I could spend the afternoon with my boyfriend, Sidney. You met him? Yes, uh, uh, but Pauline, you know, this is none of my business, but isn't Sidney a little too old for you? Well, he is a little old. But he's very nice. I feel so sorry for him. You know, he's having such trouble with his teeth. Well, why do they ache? He wished they could. <laughs> you mean they... Yes, and it's so embarrassing the way they keep clicking. What? <laughs> Mr. Livingston, they click something awful. When he walks into an office building, all the elevators go up. <laughs> You sure you won't need me this afternoon? No, I'm positive. Mr. Benny's picking me up and we're going out to 20th Century Fox. The movie studio? Yes, you see, last week they decided to make the picture all about the life story of Jack Benny. Gosh, Miss Livingston, imagine. Big studio like that. I'll bet Mr. Benny is really proud. Proud? Well, let's say that he's taking it just the way I thought he would. He's, um, he's... What's the word? Unbearable? That's it. <laughs> Good morning, Rochester. Good morning, boss. Is my breakfast ready? It's in the kitchen. I've been keeping it warm. Splendid. Splendid. <laughs> By the way, Rochester, I want to compliment you the way you prepared my bath. The fragrance was delightful, and the bubbles seemed to be quite lively. <laughs> Thank goodness I finally found the right formula. I've tried hard water, soft water, cool water, hot water, all kinds of water trying to keep those bubbles bubbling. Now, what'd you use today? Swips. <laughs> Good. Now, um, will you bring me my breakfast, please? Yes, sir. Would you like to look at the paper? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Rochester. Will you take off those glasses, or shall I turn on the lights? <laughs> what if there's anything in here about the studio making the story of my life? Nothing here, on the front page. Nothing in this column. Hmm. Nothing in this column. Oh, oh, here it is. After years of success in other fields of show business, Jack Benny will soon be celebrating his triumphal return to the silver screen. This epic will not only be based on the story of his life, but his brilliant career in... What am I reading this for? This is the ad I took out. <laughs> what do you like that? They had to put it in the used car section. <laughs> Here's your breakfast, boss. Fine, fine. Yes, just like you ordered. Splendid. Well, kumquat glacé. <laughs> Eggs Benedict. And broiled New England kippers. Very good. Uh, Rochester, where's the café au lait? The what? The coffee, the coffee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rochester, you forgot my toast. Hi.
<laughs> Rochester. Toast on a flaming sword? I always say, if we're going to be classy, let's go all out. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Buying a sword just to serve toast. It comes in handy. Every month, I duel the baker for the bill. <laughs> now, stop making things up. Chester. Thomas Wilson, come on in. Hi, Don. Oh, congratulations, Jack. I think it's just wonderful. They're going to make a picture of your life. Yeah, it is exciting. <laughs> How'd you find out about it? Well, just this morning, I was looking through the paper for a used car, and there it was. <laughs> I know, I know. Would you like something to eat? No, thanks, Jack. I've had lunch. You go right ahead, anyway. Okay. You know, Jack, there's one thing that bothers me about Fox making the story of your life. What's that? Well... I've seen a lot of these biographical films, and they've got a lot of action, excitement, adventure. Don, are you kidding? Why, my life has been one adventure after another. Ever since I ran away from home to face life all by myself. Well, I didn't know that. How old were you? 32. <laughs> I was 22. I remember because I, I wouldn't leave until I finished high school. <laughs> Well, anyway, Jack, I'm awfully happy that they're going to make your life story into a picture. Is it all set? Well, there are a few details that have to be ironed out. You know, this afternoon, I'm going over to 20th Century Fox to talk to Mr. Buddy Adler. He's the executive producer, you see, and I'm taking Mary with me, you know. Hey, hey Jack, you're not going to let all that good food go to waste. Yeah, I can't eat anymore. I'm too excited. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Where's that used car section? I'll get it. <laughs> Who are you? I'm the baker. <laughs> Rochester wasn't kidding. Two rows of white, one rye, and an apple pie. <laughs> this isn't the first of a month yet. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's gone already. Now, Rochester, take off that silly outfit and let's get started for the studio. Here. Yes, today. Oh, there's a parking place right up ahead, Rochester. Hey, that sounded like gunshots. Yeah, they must be making a cowboy picture. Somebody tell them this ain't the stagecoach. That last one went through the radiator. <laughs> It's that parking attendant. Oh, yes. Well, I'm going over and talk to him. Hey, what's the idea of shooting at us? You took the space reserve for Mr. Adler. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm Jack Benny, and I have an appointment. Jack Benny? Yeah. The one that starred in The Horn Blows at Midnight? Yeah, because I made that picture for Warner Brothers years ago. Did you see it? See it? I directed it. <laughs> well, I did. Oh, 
come on. I didn't recognize you. You got thin. Yeah, yeah, thin. But I can't understand it. I mean, you were doing so well. How come you're now a parking lot attendant? How come? Yeah. All my life, I wanted to be a director. For years, I studied and starved trying to learn the profession. Every little job they put me on, I did with perfection. <laughs> Finally, they noticed me. I became an assistant director. I was on my way up. Suddenly, I was a director. Everything I did was right. I was turning out hit after hit. I had money. I had respect. I even won an Oscar. And then you came along. You and that lousy horn blows at midnight. <laughs> Come into my life. <laughs> I used to direct pictures. Now I'm directing traffic. <laughs> Herman, Herman, put down that gun. What do you care? I'm pointing it at myself. <laughs> He's a complete wreck. Jack, what was that? Uh, it's, uh, it's nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Mary, come on, we better not keep Mr. Abner waiting. Oh, Rochester, you stay here till we get back. I have to. I've got my finger in the dike. <laughs> good, good. I beg your pardon, but I have an appointment with Mr. Adler. I'm Jack Benny. Oh, yes, Mr. Benny. He's in conference. Would you mind waiting? No, no, not at all. Thank you. I ought to be in pictures. I'm wonderful to see you. Hey, Jack. Hi. Isn't that Van Johnson sitting over there? Oh, yeah. Gee, used to be such a nice guy. Used to be. What did he ever do to you? What did he do to me? Did you see his last three pictures? Yeah, and he was great in all of them. What about it? What about it? Who has three hits in a row? <laughs> What's he trying to do? Show up Kirk Douglas and William Holden and the rest of us? <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Look at him sitting there so nonchalantly reading a magazine. <laughs> and that expression on his face, loaded with confidence. And not a wrinkle. <laughs> How would you know? His freckles would cover anything. <laughs> the size of those freckles, the big show off. <laughs> You know, Jack, I can't understand it. Every time somebody makes a little progress, you get sore at them. I do not. You do, too. When Lassie got her own television show, you got so mad, you're bitter. Bitter, bitter. I snarled at her once, and you're making a big thing out of it. Anyway, this is different. I practically gave Van Johnson his start. I remember when he came to me for advice. And I was fool enough to... Shh, Jack, he's coming over. Yeah, well, I'll hide my feelings. Jack, Mary. Hello, Van. How are you, Jack? Fine, fine. How's your mother? Oh, she's fine, thanks. And your father? Oh, he's fine, too. Hmm. Well, the next time you see him, tell him they've got a louse for a son. <laughs> Jack. Well? Jack, what's the matter? What happened? I thought you liked me. I thought we were friends. Friends? <laughs> a lot you know about friendship. Spreading that rumor around about being a big box office attraction. <laughs> Jack, I didn't start any rumor. I will admit the columnists have been saying some nice things about me, but then I saw something nice about you in the paper this morning. That I paid for. <laughs> I don't know what to say. 
Well, I'm sorry I had such good parts and pictures. I'll bet. I suppose they had to twist your arm to sign that new contract. <laughs> Mary, what's the matter with him? Oh, he's jealous of anyone that's a big success. They happen to have blue eyes, he thinks they're copying him. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Gosh, Jack, I wouldn't hurt you for the world. I know how you love show business. I wouldn't do anything to make you unhappy. Honestly, Jack, you've always been my idol. Well, I think you're the greatest personality in show business. You do? I think you're really swell. Well, I... Yeah, I'm sorry I said the things I did about you, Van. I... I think you're pretty swell, too. Uh, Jack. Yeah, but you're sweller than I am. <laughs> no, 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 you're the... you're the swellest. Van. No, you're the swellest. Well... As soon as the swelling goes down, can I get a word in here? Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry, Mary. You were see, you, you were just carried away. You know? Oh, Mr. Benny, Mr. Adler will see you now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, so long, Van. So long, Jack. Goodbye, Van. Bye, Mary. He's a nice kid. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Adler. Hi, Mary. Hello, Mr. Jack. Adler. Hi, nice to see you. Thank you. Good to see you, too. Sit down. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll pull up a chair for myself. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. <laughs> well. You know, Mr. Adler, I was quite elated when I found out about the idea about your studio making the story of my life. As a matter of fact, uh, knowing that we were going to be here, I was thrilled and excited from the moment I got up this morning. I noticed that when you walked in. Huh? You have your socks on over your shoes. <laughs> Mary, why didn't you tell me? I thought you got a shoe shine and were saving it. <laughs> Getting back to your picture, Jack. We have everything laid out. We're going to start with the day you were born. Then we're going to trace your entire career and include everyone that had a part in it. Uh-huh. From the shopkeeper who sold you your first violin and the kindly old vaudevillian who gave you the idea of telling jokes on the stage, and everyone whose advice and encouragement have kept you before the public. Well, naturally, we'll change the names to protect the innocent. <laughs> naturally. Now, Mr. Adler, I notice you left out a few details. I mean, it's about my life, but then I'll throw them in when I direct it. When you what? <laughs> direct it. I'm going to direct the picture and write it. You're going to direct the picture and write it? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to supervise it? I am. Who's going to produce it? I am. Who's going to finance it? Suddenly, this place became a library. No, please. Now, look, Jack, we've been making pictures for a long time, and you're not going to tell us how to run our business. But, but look at Mr. Adler. Now, get this. We're going to make a picture called The Life of Jack Benny, and you're not going to direct it. I'm not? No, you're not going to direct it, write it, produce it, or supervise it. Well, I... I guess you're, you're right, Mr. Adler. I should be satisfied just starring in it. Jack. <laughs> That's what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> well, we're back in the library again. <laughs> what, what did you want to talk to me about, Mr. Adler? Well, we feel that somebody else ought to play the part of Jack Benny. Well. 
For heaven's sakes, what's, what's the matter with me? Well, you've been Jack Benny too long. <laughs> well, Mr. Adler, if you don't think I'm capable of playing myself in my life story, who, who did you have in mind? Miss Dutton, send in Van Johnson. <laughs> Van Johnson? Put your socks on. Hello, Mr. Adler. Nice to see you, Van. Jack, you know... I know him, I know him. <laughs> Van, you knew about this all the time, didn't you? Knew about what? Van, I asked you to drop in because I wanted you to play the part of Jack Benny in his life story. Oh, that's wonderful. I idolize him. Hmm. Some idolizing. <laughs> I, I can't imagine the story of my life without my being in it. Jack, I didn't say you weren't going to be in it. I have something very important for you. You have? Yes, you're going to play the part of your father. <laughs> I'm going to play my own father? Yes, Van Johnson will be your son, and I think Mary will be excellent in the part of Van's sweetheart. So do I. You keep on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We can get married as soon as I ask my father. Now cut that out. Now, look, if this is your idea of making the story of my life, you can drop the whole thing. All right, then we won't make it. Don't be so hasty. <laughs> What's bothering you? You're bothering me. I'm sick of it. And we're not going to make the life story of Jack Benny. All right, then don't make it. But let me tell you something, Mr. Warner. It's not Warner, it's Adler. It's a natural mistake. He's used to being hollered at by Jack Warner. <laughs> well... <laughs> I've had enough of this. Come on, Mary, let's go. Goodbye, Mr. Adler. Bye, Bye Van. Bye, Mary. Well, there goes my idol. What are you going to do now, Mr. Adler? Well, I don't feel too bad about it. After all, it's tough to do a story of a man who's living. People know him too well. And it's... Uh, Hey, maybe Herman got him. <laughs> now we can do his life. Miss Dutton, get the script department. We're going to change the ending. Van, you'll be here tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for rehearsals. Yes, sir. <laughs> you. I forgot my socks. <laughs> He's alive. How do you like that? Miss Dutton, cancel the Jack Benny story and fire Herman. <laughs> Man, it's things like this that made me great. With hair, it's all right. With freckles, it's murder. <laughs> so long, Van. The nerve of that Buddy Adler. Well, I don't need him or 20th Century Fox or anybody. I'll produce the picture myself, and I'll star in it, too, and it'll be great. Is it going to be a partner for me, boss? You certainly is, Rochester, because this is going to be a true story. And, Mary, you're going to be in it, too. When do we start making it? I don't know. Ask my director. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. We'll make your life story a Western. Herman, put that away. 